Thank you. Thank you. I'm a little nervous. So, I have been low income or living in poverty for the majority of my life. And I grew up in a home with addiction, poor mental health, and domestic violence. It has been a difficult cycle to get out of. In a system that systemically prevents people from moving forward. I'm a mom of three. I had my first child five days after my 21st birthday, and my third by the time I was 26. I cannot afford to provide for my children the way that I would like to and give them a life um, outside of poverty. I have trouble paying for their school supplies during the school year, and I have to have my mom help me with that almost every single school year. And I can't put my kids in extracurricular activities that they're interested in to help them with their confidence and their personal growth and development because I don't have enough money. And I am also have been in a volatile relationship for the past 15 years. Um, so my children have witnessed domestic violence in their own home. And there really aren't enough resources out there to help women get out of that situation. Um, I've also, okay, so I worked in retail um, most of my life, um, and then I earned a nurse aid certificate where I worked in healthcare for nine years. And um, then I became disabled in 2014 because I was being overprescribed mental health medications for four years. So, I'm, you know, 30 something years old, three kids on disability, that's really shameful for me. So, um, I ended up during that time on disability being able to reclaim my health. I no longer have my mental health diagnoses. Um, I started volunteering um, locally um, with the Campaign for New York Health and with Liberty Union Progressives, which I ended up um, being elected co-chair of both of those within the past year. I did organizing training with the Coalition for Economic Justice. Right. Um, so I also volunteered on the Buffalo Transit Riders United campaign, ended up um, working on No Con Con, and then I'm no longer on disability. So now I have no money. I have no income. I had two job interviews coming up over the past few months. Mm -hmm. I couldn't make it there. I had a job interview for with the union in Detroit, Michigan. I had no money to get there. <laughs> had a job interview for a job um, organizing position in Albany. Couldn't make it there. <coughs> so this system is not set up to help people. And yes, I made bad decisions in my life, but. I want to live to my full potential and give my children a path outside of poverty. Right. It's not right. It's not fair. Just because people mess up, it doesn't mean that your life should be over for the rest of your life and your children shouldn't have to suffer.